I had gone to this uh, fancy store. So I was buying hardware. So while I'm doing this uh, work for this wall arts, I wanted to draw, a, uh, sorry, create a honeycomb with uh, nuts and bolts. So I didn't get wire from the hardware shop. So they didn't have thread either. So I walked into the fancy store and looking for packaging the thread, which uh, the samosa guy uses for tying. And uh, she understood differently. And she uh, showed me this box of... Uh, uh, th uh, stitching threads and I was uh, totally bowled over because uh, for the first time I'm seeing like uh, so many shades of yellow so many shades of pink and so many shades of uh, blue and uh, with oil colors you have to struggle to find the right uh, uh, shade of color right so I just bought uh, each one is just five rupees I just bought two cartons full of whatever colors I really love right so there, there's a conscious attempt to say that this is my palette now and I'm not even limited by uh, the cost of it and the quantity of it I can use it so I was clearly seduced by this flowers so this was the first attempt I made uh, uh, which didn't work out very well. So it's basically me discovering a medium, trying to draw, and it's very time consuming and uh, very suffocating uh, because you can't uh, have the fan on, you can't have the window open because if there is a slight uh, uh, breeze, then the uh, drawing will uh, get smudged or it will get displaced. And I keep, uh, so, uh, the funny thing was that I approached it as a ritual practice. So if you've seen uh, 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 village people draw uh, around a tree and uh, uh, tie the thread around it. Now I uh, sat here and uh, instead of sitting, uh, I started throw walking all around the canvas, right? It's quite tiring and you get dizzy after a while. So after a while, I realized that uh, maybe the size that I'm drawing is quite huge. And I learned, learned to sit down and uh, the size that uh, this medium allows is only what my arm can reach. So that way, uh, this was the uh, second iteration, second attempt at uh, drawing the Brahmanda or the cosmic egg. So sometimes uh, you overdo it, right? So it's more like I was approaching it like paint and uh, I was trying to fill in, filling up that uh, white egg. So I want the entire uh, uh, inner thing to be fully white. Uh, but uh, later on, I realized that uh, this doesn't look great. Uh, uh, right? So it looks, and there is no undo. Once you have dropped the thread, uh, you can't pull it back because it pulled the entire thing towards you. So it's a very tricky medium to start with. Uh, this is the third attempt. Now this was again me going all around uh, uh, putting in, now I used a cloth instead of paper because I wanted it to do it and uh, the most uh, frustrating thing was that I would have spent some three days trying to cover up this entire drawing and uh, when I s s dozed off and uh, somewhere in the middle of the night uh, the power went off so I just walked and uh, the entire uh, effort was a uh, waste because it got smudged again. So uh, these are the things you learn that uh, there is a new medium, there is a behavior to it, and then there is a limitation. You can't uh, really have uh, uh, such a huge canvas. So there, uh, a maximum will be two feet by two feet is what your drawing should be so that you can uh, actually carry it around. So there was this other thing that uh, I'm having a, a studio which cannot be cleaned every day because I have my things on the floor now. And I took this to my bedroom uh, just for space. So I'm filling up my entire home with uh, uh, these things and not allowing my mother to clean the house. Uh, one other limitation I discovered was that uh, you can't really draw objects. I was trying to uh, draw a lotus as an abstraction uh, with the fish, uh, but clearly uh, this medium is not to draw objects. It's it's most suitable for abstract themes. Uh, so uh, this was an so now I'm very dependent on the uh, book and what are all the themes that are described there, right? So yoni is about reproductive energy present in the universe, which can carries the seed of life. So it is all 
a lot of the indian thought and uh, tradition of our way of uh, thinking and looking at life so the left was an exploration which seems uh, literal uh, the right is an exploration which has more depth which has more meaning right so the choice of colors is more about this uh, energy the potent energy which is not yet life but it has all the pot- uh, uh, waiting for that uh, uh, bija or the seed to sprout and i was loving this uh, free form of this thread right so if you i had earlier tried i should use fevicol to uh, stick the threads but the moment it is stuck it becomes flat so this is a breathing uh, 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 work which mo- feels more like an algae in water so you, as long as it is free it is good but if you try to put adhesive or anything it will not look uh, uh, it will not have same feel to it now i also replaced the paper with khadi cloth now so uh, i was uh, going towards saying that i will not use manufactured paint or i will not use anything manufactured this is more like uh, uh, staying very close to uh, the earth i am uh, starting to identify with the uh, uh, like folk artists so this is lucky chand jain who is a mandana artist he learned it from his grandmother and continues to practice it uh, now so he he his teaches in uh, nift probably and uh, this uh, he continues to do his work uh, this is yanimi yanima pikarli is an aborigine artist right he is he started to draw at the age of 90 right so he is almost 100 years old so uh, he is just keeps painting uh, whatever are the stories of uh, the native people of australia and uh, uh mushri jivesho mamashe is a, a early artist based out of uh, uh, maharashtra uh, he is also a farmer so uh, all of them have a day job and then they work on their art in the in their free time uh, mamashe expired uh, uh, just one year back so this is the gandhian movement for me right so i am spinning thread i'm sitting on the floor and uh, uh, you experience this very uh, intimate uh, moment with just you and the thread and nothing else as usual i have my coworker my son who wa- now wants to be a footballer is a lionel messi fan uh, but uh, he got curious and uh, i ga- since i understood the difficulty of a large canvas i gave him a small bowl and told him just use that and uh, he did uh, it for probably 5 to 10 minutes and he said it was tiring uh, this was the first work which really uh, got me uh, where i was happy for the first time it was uh, again about uh, how life is formed so a cell has to divide uh, in order for an organism to be created so there is this tension between 1 uh, uh, and 2 so i uh, then i realized that uh, the contrast is not great on a white canvas so i used a black canvas then uh, while i was admiring my work uh, i i was uh, i was very excited then i felt uh, uh, this was like an organism uh, it should not be flat it should be in a bowl so uh, uh, i wanted something which is more of a concave surface so my intention was this will be mounted on the wall so i want uh, the audience to experience this as a, a look into another universe uh, not art surface right so this was the hardware which i had initially purchased from the local uh, store uh, this is what uh, laborers use for ta- you know, carrying construction material uh, i used fevicol and try to lay in the thread in but uh then later on i realized that i should never use gum when i search for uh, concave mirror or concave surfaces in uh, amazon then the first thing that came was a kadai so, so i couldn't uh, i wouldn't have been able to order this 3 ft by 3 ft uh, kadai from amazon so i went to kr markets uh, purchased uh, uh, this kadai which uh, this people uh, on the street use and it doesn't cost much it's around 2000 or 2500 so but the only thing was i had to transport it back from the city to my place and uh, i had a very clear thing that i need to uh, 
like uh, polish it then uh, uh, paint it and then let it dry and then uh, keep my artwork in this so uh, there is this thing uh, which uh, vincent van gogh wrote to his uh, uh, brother theo van gogh saying that uh, nature always uh, begins by resisting the rots men but uh, he who truly uh, takes it seriously doesn't let himself be deterred by that resistance uh, finally nature and an honest rotsman see eye to eye so it has not been a, uh, an easy journey there are a lot of learning so uh, there is there are times when i would have done an entire drawing and uh, by the time i come back uh, it uh, the wind would have blown it all away so you begin all over again and uh, sitting for hours together is not easy uh, it can be very uh, stressful you uh, you have to take breaks uh, frequently this was uh, the artwork and the next slide you uh, was about uh, padma vyuham this is also a little bigger uh, around 3 feet so uh, this was an interpretation of uh, how abhimanyu gets uh, stuck in the padma vyuham in mahabharata and uh, i didn't want to represent it the way uh, i see it it was my own interpretation of saying that uh, uh, what the true uh, deeper meaning is that we tend to get entangled in our life and uh, uh, fail to get out and do what we really love so uh, this is more of uh, this is a, a more detailed view of the same thing so you can see that uh, why i am so excited because uh, there is so many layers of it you don't know uh, what is happening but it's a very intense activity i would say uh i would go on to say that uh, if medium is the message then perhaps the medium chooses the messenger right so uh what do i mean by that? so there is a story i have been able to tell people saying that uh, uh it's not like i chanced upon the threads i am saying that uh, the threads chose me right so i didn't choose the threads uh, it was like as if the uh threads uh, chose me it's a divine intervention uh the, uh, the uh, goddess has granted me that uh, hey why don't you use this hey puri uh, just to check on the time uh, yeah we have by past 5 so yeah just uh, how many more minutes yeah we have crossed 5 so yeah i would love to take questions as well so we have couple of questions so yeah it's up to you yeah so Do, do you want to do QA or uh, quickly finish five slides? Yeah, yeah, please, please. I think finish it. Yeah, it's so I don't want to stop uh, the flow. Yeah, so this was uh, the final drawing uh, which I did. Uh, this was my interpretation of Ravana. So it around it took me three iterations to get it uh, uh, the way I wanted it, uh, where I felt I did uh, justice to it. So what is the deeper meaning of uh, those ten heads? So, so Ravana is a learned uh, man himself. Uh, but he did uh, he made a mistake right so uh, the deeper meaning is all of these are virtues and vices so all of us has ram and all of us has ravan uh, it depends on which of these uh, uh, vices or virtues manifest themselves right so you become ravana when the bad uh, characteristics start to dominate the good so these were my uh interpretation of all those uh, characteristics uh, to give a more abstract view of what ravana looks like 